Ford Freestyle ABS sensor test. So if you don't have a very expensive scanner like all the mechanics have, you can kind of rig up a, a little uh, test scenario here. And I'll show you guys how to do that. You will have to get some connectors from a recycling yard, you know, junkyard, go there and, uh, and grab some ABS sensors that are there where they connect and uh, snip about a, a foot lead off of either one or longer. Uh, you join the two together. And this way you can actually test your ohms and continuity on the sensor itself. And then you can plug both of them into the main harness test your volts when you turn the car to the on position and while it's on the on position you can see if the volts change as the tire rotates so it's quite a simple easy way of doing it so long as you got a multi-volt um, multi uh, tester with you you can um, you can uh, do that and uh, so I'll show you how easy it is actually to do so on the front pass or on the front driver's side uh, once you remove the inner wheel lining, the plug is just right on the top corner. So just wiggle it, unplug it. And if you want to test just the ohms themselves, you just need to plug in the part that goes to the sensor itself. So plug that in. You got your two leads right here. And so far, all of these things have been testing around the 30 ohm mark. So 30, 40 ohms, put your ohm meter on. Try to put it on that spot where you guys can see. So after you plug it in, you can grab your leads, okay? Make sure you're not touching the leads with your bare hands because that'll affect the reading. So I've been ranging between 28 to 32 ohms on the sensors I've been testing. And I actually found the rear driver's side is toast. So that's why the ABS light is on. And uh, I'll swap that out and put the new one on. So we'll leave it like this for now. And you guys can see that it's got continuity. And after this, you can plug in both of them. So after you plug the other half in, now with this wiring harness here, you can test for volts. So put it, your, put your uh, tester onto your volts. You can turn the car to the on position and then you can read the volts that are coming out. If you're getting no voltage coming out, then check your fuses because most likely you might have a popped fuse. And if you have a popped fuse, that means that you got a short somewhere either in the ABS module or the ABS motor itself. So once the car is on the on position and you can wrangle that stupid wire, you got 10.5 volts. So you have voltage to your sensor. The voltage will change as your wheel is being turned. So when your wheel gets spun, the voltage will actually drop. If you're not getting any droppage, then your sensor is malfunctioned and you'll have to change your ABS sensor on this wheel. So we shall show you how the voltage will drop as the wheel spins. So as you guys can see on the voltmeter, it's uh, 10.40 and once the wheel starts turning you'll see it drop. So you do have to spin the wheel. You don't have to be crazy fast but you're getting a reading. That means that that sensor is okay. So this is how you can make the wire harness tester or the tester for the ABS. Basically, you just plug them in. These are spares from the junkyard. Like I say, cut about a foot. If you have longer leads, even better. So just to make sure that you, no one screws up where they go, grab your tester, go on to continuity, test to see which one is which. So you can plug them into the right spot. So there you go, orange wire with the black stripe goes to the black, that's got continuity, and obviously the next one will have the same. So you can quickly just twist them in. You can solder it if you really want to go all out and professional, you really don't have to. 
this is just a, a cheap, easy way of, of testing what you have to see if it's working. Easy little wire harness. Strip the ends. To be on the safe side, you can actually leave one in there. So this way you don't have to worry about them touching each other. Give them a little twist so they don't fray too much. And easy way of setting up a little tester for your ABS. Plugging them in. The only reason why I did it like this was for you to find continuity by trying to probe into these little pins. They always seem to want to touch each other. It's very hard to hold them in place and actually get a good read off of them. So by having these plugs, these things are awesome. You just shove them in. You got easy way of, uh, of putting the continuity to test. Do your test and see if they work. If not, change them out.